can you not do that, please? Have you made it wet? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know it's been quite a long time since I did the Q&A video, but it's good to see you again. Um, I just thought I would make a quick video, maybe it won't be quick, I talk a lot. Um, I had to cut like 10 minutes worth of talking out of the Q&A video. But um, yeah, I just thought that was Boxy nudging the table, the camera is on by the way. I thought I would make a video and just explain uh, what is to come in this year with some luck. Obviously, who knows, last year just, we're not even going to talk about last year, let's just put it that way. Um, so yeah, basically, I had a few, I've had a few questions um, about things like when there will be a sequel to Wires to Magic. So there is going to be a sequel, I can promise you that. But um, I can't promise a time frame. I'm not going to set a time frame for it because I don't want to um, put out something unrealistic. I don't want people to kind of wonder where it is if it's not going to be ready. Um, and I'm only ever going to share something with you that is completely... 100% something that I'm happy with. Um, so I did start to write it um, probably about this time last year actually um, and I do have all the notes are ready for it um, and for a third book as well um, but obviously I've started my master's where I started last, um, last October and I thought there wasn't much point starting it um, as soon as I knew that I was going to do the course back in March, I thought there's no there's no point carrying on with it until I have all the knowledge that I want to gain from my masters. And I'm glad that I made that decision because even other projects that I was writing for my masters, um, I've like stopped. I've re had to redo loads because I feel like I've learned so much um, and I want to put it into practice so I'm glad that I have made that decision but it obviously means there's going to be a delay in when the book will be ready um, at the moment I'm working on uh, stuff for uni which I thought I thought I can just use like every hand in um, to work on this one project that I started planning in the uh, first lockdown last year and unfortunately you can't I can't say the word properly you can't self plagiarize um so I can't just like do it and then edit it with the feedback given and then do it again and keep doing it until I've got a full book that's not how it works um so, so I'm going to use that one for my dissertation which means that book will probably most likely be ready first um I might run through, I'm not going to, I sort of might, I should have, I always think I'm prepared for these videos and then I sit down to film them and then I find myself waffling and um, I guess maybe it's the dyspraxia but like my brain just kind of goes, it like finds an idea and then it's gone and then I'm just talking, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm going to um, give like a brief rundown of the other projects that I have in the works as well as the second wires for magic. Um, so yeah, like I said with the second wires for magic, it, it has a name even, like it is definitely, it's a working title, um, but it definitely is in the planning stage. A little bit has been written, but that might change. So I can't promise a time frame for that one, but it is gonna happen. And there is gonna be a third book as well. So it, all of it is planned out it's you know being ready but I want it when I write it I want it to be like obviously nothing is perfect and when you're an artist you are never happy with your work but um, I want to be as happy with it as I possibly can be so moving on to the other project um you might have seen on my instagram that i started planning um another book so this one is going to be very different to wise to magic obviously i have my own style as an author it's still going to be written in that style um but it is set in like a completely it's not another world it's not um obviously wise to magic is set in in this universe this is just something completely um new it's like its own thing um I'm trying to think of what to say without giving too much away but it's basically it's going to be a quest um and somebody is going to have to retrieve lots of objects um it's very uh it's got like gods and goddesses in it obviously magic um it's going to have everything it's gonna be like an epic fairy tale so i'm really pleased with this one i spent when i say i spent the entire of last lockdown planning this i literally filled up two notebooks full of notes um like i'm really 
um, my poor partner had to have his ear chewed off as every dog walk we went on for an hour he had to listen to me saying and this is the bit that I'm at with this and this is this part of this story and I'm thinking I might do this but I don't know um, so yeah he's had to listen to it all as well but um, we're really excited about it. It's called The Turning Tides um, or Turning Off The Tides. Again, working title, we're not really sure. Um, and it, that's not gonna give you too much of a clue as to what it's about. But honestly, like we're really pleased with this and I'm gonna use it for my dissertation. Um, now, because of that, I don't know how much I'm allowed to share with you. Um, I had this problem I put on Instagram and asked if anyone wanted to hear, I've just had to do like a massive submission, um, which the hand in day is today, it's scary. Um, but I had to do a massive submission and I really wanted to share what I had written with you because um, I was used to sharing my writing and it like I, I actually don't know if I'm able to until I get my results I don't know if I'm allowed to I know it sounds really silly but obviously I don't want to do anything that might jeopardize my grades um, especially because I <laughs> if you follow my personal Instagram you will know like a lot of hard work went into this um, so yeah, I, I'm unsure of how much I can share with you, um, but I think Turning of the Tides, it will be the first project probably to be completed. Um, I'd love for it to be like done by the end of this year in terms of like the actual just manuscript of it. Um, and then to be on to the editing stage in terms of like spelling, punctuation, that kind of thing. Um, I would love for it to be in that stage by the end of the year, but obviously I, I don't, I can't promise anything at this point. Um, I don't even know, I don't know what 2021's got in store for me and I'm not feeling too optimistic after last year. Um, so yeah, the other project that I had started that I used for this submission um, is set in this world, a bit more similar to Eyes for Magic and it is based around a family of witches and a young daughter who is growing up, she's just gone to secondary school and is experiencing life um, in, with her magic family but also in school and how the repercussions of that affect her um, in terms of like making friends and stuff um, and that's going to include obviously like what witches in it but it's going to include like demons and stuff as well um, and obviously the first three chapters of that are dumb because I, I had to submit them um, and I really want to share them with you but again like until results day which is in the middle of February I don't know um, so expect some of that one but again I can't say when this is why you should subscribe or follow my social media but yeah they're my um, three kind of um, book projects that I've been working on I've done a lot of poetry for my course as well so again I want to share that with you I'm just not sure how much I'm allowed to share so moving on into the final parts of the video I did ask on Instagram if there's anything that you wanted me to cover uh, oh my god someone just walked past and stared at me <laughs> um, I asked if there's anything that you wanted me to cover in this video um, so I've already talked uh, about a lot of the questions that I got I've already talked about at the start where I was talking about the sequel for Ice Magic what is happening there what's happening with other projects with uni um, uni is very hard by the way thanks for asking uh, I don't know what I expected when I started a masters but it's yeah it's really hard uh, I enjoy it though I'm not saying I don't but um, so another question that I got, which I haven't answered, is what is my favourite part? Um, I don't know what that's in relation to, like my favourite part of the book, of being an author of last year. I don't know if I have a favourite part of last year, probably starting my course um, or spending more time with you and Unboxy in the first lockdown. Um, besides that, it was kind of shit. Um, <laughs> my favourite part of the book, um, it's probably actually in the beginning, um, where the main character, Carla, is introduced to the other characters. Um, I, I know that scene isn't like the most exciting, but I personally really enjoy it. I think one of my favourite parts in writing is kind of, um, creating like world building and character building. So I love that scene because, um, not only is she meeting all these people for the first time, she's also in like a new place. So that was, it was really fun to kind of, um, picture the school that she's in and how it works and picture all these people around her. So it was really fun to create those characters. Um, and if you've read the book, you'll know that, that a lot of them have quite strong personalities. So it was really fun to write that part of the book. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, 
yeah, that was pretty much the other questions that I got were not relating to the book at all. But like I said, I've already answered most of them. I am going to do a video, like a separate video, just on why it's magic. Um, and I did do a, a, a q and I say Q&A, like I wasn't really answering questions on Instagram. I was just taking questions um, for this video. So it was more just like a question, not a QA. and a but um, yeah, so I'm going to have a separate video where I just answer questions about why it's magic and talk a bit about the book. Um, I need to figure out a way I can do that without giving too much away. Obviously, I don't want to give you know any spoilers or anything. Um, so yeah, I uh, that is something that I have got plans coming up this year. Um, I was thinking of doing one, um, you know, studying for a masters and how that's been. I don't, I don't know if I want to do that until I get my results though, because like, what you know, what if I'm like, oh, this is some really good advice, and then I fail. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that one until it actually like is over. Um, but I might do one uh, just uh, tips for studying with um, dyspraxia because as you can probably tell by how my speech is going now that I'm at the end of the video is something that I struggle with a lot and it, especially in this course that I'm doing has had a massive impact um, and I'm still I applied for DSA in August I'm still arguing with them about it I have no I've had no help um, I have submitted was like I said my first submission was today I've submitted work with um, nothing apart from help from people around me, which I have to say I am very grateful for. Um, yeah, without the people, I'm so lucky that I have the network that I have, because without that, there's no way that I would have been able to do that. Yeah, that is what I've got planned coming up for this year. There's also a few competitions um, that are being worked out at them but definitely watch this space follow my social media um follow my my instagram is the most active so i would suggest instagram but i do have a facebook page as well which i'm just revamping at the moment um and then obviously i post here on youtube sometimes i have a tiktok as well um but yeah i'll include all links in the description and i hope you have a good day bye do you know i always think that i'm done and then i get another question and i want to answer it so <laughs> Um, it's my fault. I only put the um, question up this morning. I didn't really give people an opportunity to respond. I should have left it for 24 hours, but obviously I'm working tomorrow. Um, and I have got a lot of uni work I really should be doing right now instead of doing this. But I want to do this. So, so yeah, the question, uh, how do you plan a story or piece of writing? Do you do a plan or just write as you go? Now, I do want to cover this um, potentially in its own like full length video, um, but to answer in short, uh, as I said earlier with my, my new project that I'm doing, um, a lot of planning goes into it. Um, as for a schedule, I did try to write to a schedule. When I was finishing Wise Magic, I had to have a schedule because my job at the time was very demanding, but I was determined to have it finished. Um, so as for a schedule at the moment, I don't really have a writing schedule, um, but in terms of planning, um, I have, so I'll have notebooks, which, um, I should have gone to grab one so I could show you. Um, I have notebooks and I, every single detail about the book will be in the notebooks. Um, I'll have each chapter will have its own page, um, sometimes more than one page and I will just keep adding and adding and adding, um, as the story progresses. So if I kind of, um like as, as I'm writing if I think of something else and I have to go back to another chapter and edit the other chapter I will add it into the notes as well just so I have I can reference everything um in the new project that I'm doing as well as um every character will have their own page in the book as well um but as well as that in the new book that I'm doing every place has to have its own page in fact it has to have more than one page because I have to talk about the king or queen of that place and uh, what species live there um, what's their politics like like I have to cover everything um, so it's yeah a lot of planning goes into it um, I would love to have like I said a, a separate video for this um, where I talk about it in more detail if that's something people are interested in I can definitely talk about my, my process as an author um, because this is something that I've had years to work on and obviously now I've got um, a formal education in it as well. We did cover uh, planning for stories as well so I'd love to share that with you um, if it's something that you want to see. What is your writing schedule or do you just write when you have the inspiration? 
obviously I just covered that a little bit um, with what I just said but yeah I will literally just write when I have the inspiration I don't have much of a schedule I really should um, it was quite beneficial when I was writing Wise Magic I'm not that disciplined when it comes to deadlines and things because of my dyspraxia I find it very hard to kind of estimate time frames like I might um, think that I've got plenty of time when there's like no time at all or I might think right I can get um, like 10 chapters done in one week which is completely unrealistic with the lifestyle that I have um, so yeah I try not to put too much of like a limit on it but when I'm inspired I do write obviously at the moment I'm happy to write weekly for my course um, but once I finish it, I'll probably fall back into some kind of natural pattern with it. Um, but yeah, like I said, before the course, obviously, that's when I was still writing Wise Magic, so I did have one. Um, but yeah.